go for main engine start. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All three engines up and burning. 2, 1, 0, and lift off. The final lift off of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. 40 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Atlantis, go at throttle up, no action, DPDT. Go at throttle up, no action on DPDT. That call from Capcom Barry Wilmore, a transducer, instrumentation only, no action required. Atlantis now 15 miles in altitude, already 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, one minute, 40 seconds into the flight. Atlantis flexing its muscles one final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Firing chain is armed. Hot suppression water system is armed. Go for main engine start. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, zero, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavour. Expanding our knowledge while expanding our lives in space. Houston Endeavour, roll program. Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston is now controlling. Endeavour beginning to uh, pull over onto its uh, back. The roll program underway as uh, Endeavour begins a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. engines now throttling down as Endeavour uh, passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Approaching one minute into the flight. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Endeavour's three uh, main engines now back at uh, full throttle, all uh, three engines in good shape. Endeavour's already uh, traveling 1,300 miles per hour at an altitude of 11 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, now 12 miles. At liftoff, uh, Endeavour fully fueled, uh, weighed four and a half million pounds. It's already lost half that weight in propellant now, burned that weight. Next event is burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Uh, that upcoming here shortly at the uh, two minute three second point, those boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of fuel per second. And standing by for separation of the solid rocket boosters.
The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out any dispersions introduced at booster separation. The uh, orbiter is now traveling 3,200 miles per hour, downrange 50 miles, altitude 37 miles. All systems in good shape. Sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one, booster ignition, and the final liftoff of Discovery, a tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. onto its back for the 8th minute ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery Houston, you are go at throttle up. Commander Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom and Charlie Hoba as Discovery's three main engines throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bow and mission specialist Al Drew and Nicole Stott. Mission specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. It's altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. Its altitude 37 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 53 miles. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, reaching the crest of its historic achievements in space. And uh, Houston Atlantis is in a roll. Roger, roll. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Atlantis is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. And the three main engines on Atlantis have now been throttled down to 72% of rated thrust as the orbiter prepares to pass through the uh, area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The engine's now beginning to throttle back up. Atlantis, you are go at throttle up. Copy, go at throttle up. Three engines looking uh, really good, back at full throttle now. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds 
It now has burned uh, half of that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, all three auxiliary power units that provide hydraulic power to the orbiter's systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells providing uh, electricity to all of the systems on board. Atlantis is already 19 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 20 miles traveling, 2,500 miles per hour. Coming up on staging, the point at which the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate from the orbiter. Booster separation confirmed. T minus 15 seconds and the sound suppression water system has been activated. Okay. We have a go for main engine start. Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one, zero. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Blazing a trail to scientific discoveries aboard space station. Houston Discovery Roll Program. Bye to roll Discovery. This is Mission Control Houston. Space Shuttle Discovery is rolling into a heads down position, putting it on course for 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute line orbit, and eventually the International Space Station. are now throttling down to reduce stress on the shuttle as it travels through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Discovery is already at an altitude of 4.7 miles or 26,500 feet and traveling. Discovery, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Traveling 1,000 miles per hour, Discovery's engines are now throttled back up and performing at full capability. At liftoff, the shuttle weighed more than four and a half million pounds, and now uh, one minute and 27 seconds into the flight, the main engines and solid rocket boosters have reduced that weight by about half. The solid rocket, bo rocket boosters alone are burn burning 11,000 pounds of propellant per second, and the external tank is now 3,000 pounds louder than when it began. Discovery is now 21 miles away from its launch pad and uh, 22 miles in altitude, traveling 2,700 miles per hour. All three main engines are working just as expected. The three fuel cells are generating power and the three auxiliary power units are all producing pressure. In short, everything performing well. Two minutes and seven seconds into the STS-131 mission. T minus 16 seconds, the sound suppression water system has been activated. We're T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have to go for ready to start. 2, 1, clear. Booster ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. Mission Control Houston, Endeavour's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. 28 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1100 miles per hour, 1.3 miles in altitude, and 7 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center according to onboard computers. Endeavour's engines are throttling down at the, as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Endeavour copies, go at throttle up. The three main engines on board are throttling back up, now 1 minute 10 seconds in the flight. 
Endeavour flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, 11 and a half miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. The next step will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now in the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Outpost. 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. Three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance going into the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. 55 seconds into the flight, all systems operating normally, 900 miles an hour. The speed of Atlantis right now, six miles in altitude, nine miles downrange. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Copy, go with throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Hobaugh, joined on the flight deck by pilot Butch Wilmore, flight engineer Randy Bresnick and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid deck are Mike Foreman and Bobby Satcher, kicking off their work week with a Monday commute to orbit. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, Atlantis 13 miles in altitude, 15 miles downrange, traveling almost 2,000 miles an hour. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells, three good main engines. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight. Ten seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, 34 miles in altitude, 48 miles downrange. Atlanta's traveling 3,200 miles an hour. T minus 15 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. We have a go for main engine start. And we have main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies to the space station. Houston now controlling the midnight ride of Rick Sterko and his crew to the International Space Station. Discovery rolling onto the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the international outpost. Thirty two seconds into the flight. The three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72 percent of rated performance down in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic. Discovery three and a half miles in altitude, 
four miles downrange from the kennedy space center standing by for the throttle up call now from capcom eric bo discovery the throttle up call acknowledged by commander rick sterko joined on the flight deck by pilot kevin ford flight engineer jose hernandez and pat forrester Seated down on the mid-deck are Danny Olivas, Christopher Fugelsang of the European Space Agency, and Nicole Stott, hitching a ride for three months on the International Space Station. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. All of Discovery Systems performing normally, 17 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The onboard computer steering the shuttle for its precise path to the International Space Station. Sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Endeavour and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We're go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavour, completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's hope for an out of this world space laboratory. Endeavour, roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavour. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavour's roll maneuver is being completed. It's now going into a heads-down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Flying at 400 miles per hour, one mile in altitude, and seven miles downrange already from the Kennedy Space Center. Throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Now 50 seconds into the flight. Endeavor, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. The three engines on board are throttling back up. Endeavour flying at 1,100 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 10 miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed 4.5 million pounds. The total thrust at launch was 6,425,000 pounds. One minute, 33 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1,900 miles per hour, 17 miles in altitude, and 16 miles downrange. All systems continue to function well. Endeavour has three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We'll be standing by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Booster officer confirms the SRBs or solid rocket boosters have separated. Two minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. Sound suppression water system arm. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle of Lights. The final visit to the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, scooter, no action. Houston now controlling Atlantis on its way.
atlantis on its way, all three engines now throttling down as the area begins as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure atlantis, houston, no action on the mps h2 out p houston, we copy, no action atlantis, go at throttle up houston, atlantis copies, go at throttle up Seven miles in altitude. Altitude 49,000 feet. Flight control team discussing the minor transients that were seen at liftoff. All three engines are in good shape. The vehicle is uh, headed downrange. three hydraulic systems in good shape as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is 18 miles uh, and altitude downrange 23 miles. Already traveling 2,500 miles per hour approaching staging the burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters which have been burning fuel at a rate of about 11,000 pounds per second. Solid rocket boosters have done their job. Atlantis is uh, continuing in its due easterly course to catch up with the Hubble Space Telescope one last time. Altitude 35 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 51 miles. Altitude uh, 195,000 feet. Atlantis is traveling 3,300 miles per hour. Again, all three main engines are in good shape. Fifteen. Twelve. 10. DLS is go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And boost recognition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, taking the space station to full power for full science. This is Mission Control Houston. Discovery roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads-down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Discovery flying 365 miles per hour, one and a half, one and a half miles in altitude, seven miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Discovery, go at throttle up. Discovery, go at throttle up. Three main engines on board are throttling back up. Now one minute, 12 seconds into the flight, Discovery flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 11 and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We will now stand by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Discovery now flying 3,600 miles per hour, 32 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Let's go for main engine start. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour.
preparing our home and space for a larger international family. Houston now controlling. Houston Endeavor roll program. Roger roll Endeavor. Commander Chris Ferguson confirming Endeavor is rolling on course for a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Speed 1,000 miles an hour, altitude one mile, downrange distance six and a half miles from Kennedy Space Center already. down to 72% of the rate of thrust as the shuttle goes through the realm of maximum aerodynamic pressure. Altitude 5 miles, downrange 8 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Speed 1,500 miles an hour. Endeavor, go at throttle up. All systems remain go. Speed 2,000 miles an hour, altitude 10 miles, downrange distance 12 miles from Kennedy Space Center. It's one and a half minutes since launch. Endeavor has consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at launch. Standing by for burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters and jettison. Booster Office confirms a clean separation of the two solid rockets. Endeavor's three main engines continuing the second stage, accelerating with 37 million horsepower. T-minus 15 seconds and counting. Ten. Ten seconds. We have go for main engine start. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Discovery. Combate Kudasai. Best of luck to the International Space Station's newest laboratory. Houston and Discovery roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery, a man-made rising sun on behalf of Japan. Discovery on the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. Six seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back to 72% of rated performance, going in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery already five miles in altitude, eight and a half miles downrange, traveling almost a thousand miles an hour. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Throttle up. throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Mark Kelly, joined on the flight deck by pilot Ken Ham, flight engineer Ron Garan, and mission specialist Karen Nyberg. Down on the mid deck are Mike Fossum, Aki Hoshide, and Greg Shamatov, heading for a half year on the International Space Station. One minute, 45 seconds into the flight. Discovery 22 miles in altitude, 23 miles downrange. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Copy staging. Booster officer confirms staging, a good solid rocket booster separation. Range safety systems armed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of Endeavour, going where east and west do meet at the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Houston Endeavour, roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavour. The roll maneuver is complete. Endeavour is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. The Florida coast gets an early sunrise as Endeavour heads out on a course to intercept the International Space Station in a day and a half. Endeavor, your go at throttle up. There's no action on the left RCS messages. We'll have words later. Copy, no go action. at throttle up. Copy, no action on the RCS message, Matt. Endeavor's heading out 51,000 feet in altitude, 10 miles from the Kennedy Space Center, downrange 11 miles. Three hydraulic systems in good shape, as are the electricity producing fuel cells. Three good uh, main engines at 104% of rated thrust. Coming up on uh, staging, the burnout of these twin solid rocket boosters at two minutes, five seconds. SRB separation confirmed. T minus 10, nine, eight, go for maintenance and start. Seven, six. Main engine ignition. Four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis as Columbus sets sail on a voyage of science to the space station. Houston now controlling. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Columbus weighs anchor from its port in Florida. Atlantis on the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Saturday. 28 seconds into the flight. The three liquid fuel main engines soon will throttle back to 72% of rated performance, going in the bucket, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Atlantis, three miles in altitude, seven miles downrange. 50 seconds into the flight. Engines beginning to throttle back up, standing by for that call from Capcom Jim Dutton. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Atlantis copies, go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Steve Frick, joined on the flight deck by pilot Alan Poindexter, Rex Walheim, and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid deck are Stan Love, and Hans Schlegel and Leopold Ayarts of the European Space Agency. Ayarts hitching a ride to his new home on the International Space Station. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already 15 miles in altitude, 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 2,000 miles an hour. Three good main engines, three good fuel cells, three auxiliary power units, all functioning normally. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms a good solid rocket booster separation, good staging. T-minus 16 seconds, sound suppression water system has been activated. 
protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We have a go for main engine start. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens and opening new gateways for international science. Discovery has cleared the tower. Houston now controlling. Roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It's now in a head down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Discovery seven miles downrange at an altitude of two statute miles. Flying at 600 miles per hour. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Now 50 seconds into the flight. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, go for the engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour, expanding the International Space Station while creating a classroom in space. Houston Endeavour, where is the program? Roger roll, Endeavour. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavour. The space shuttle begins its journey back into orbit. Endeavour rolling onto the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Friday. 30 seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines will soon throttle back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket to reduce the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. This view from long range trackers, now from a camera on the external fuel tank showing the bird's eye view of Endeavour heading towards space. 54 seconds into the flight, Endeavour already eight miles downrange. Standing by for the throttle up call from Capcom, Chris Ferguson. Endeavor, go with throttle up. Go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Scott Kelly, joined on the flight deck by pilot Charlie Hobaugh, flight engineer Rick Mastracchio and Tracy Caldwell, Dave Williams, Al Drew, and Barbara Morgan seated down on the mid deck, Morgan racing towards space on the wings of a legacy. T minus 10, 9, 8, Seven, main engine start, five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis to assemble the framework for the science laboratories of tomorrow. Houston now controlling. Houston Atlantis, roll program. Roger, roll Atlantis. Atlantis's roll maneuver is complete. The uh, orbiter's in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. All systems in good shape. Engines throttling down as Atlantis prepares to maneuver through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. Already seven miles away from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of five miles. Ten seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Houston Discovery, roll program. Rendezvous, Discovery. Commander Mark Polanski confirming Discovery, rolling on course for a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Speed 1,000 miles an hour, altitude one mile. Downrange four and a half miles from Kennedy Space Center already. Three good engines startling back to two thirds of the rate of thrust. Passing the air of maximum dynamic pressure, about to go supersonic.
There's a view from the external tank camera. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All systems remain in go for Discovery. Altitude, eight miles. Speed, 1,700 miles an hour. Downrange, 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. minute and a half since launch. Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines. Three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine Maroon. Two engine Maroon. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Maroon, Spain, if required. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Speed now, 4,500 miles an hour, altitude 45 miles, downrange 78 miles from Kennedy Space Center. Basin systems on, T minus 10 seconds, go for main engine start, seven, six, five, three engines up and burning, three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Discovery, beginning America's new journey to the moon, Mars, and beyond and the vehicle has cleared the tower. Houston is now controlling. Commander Alan Collins confirmed the Discovery is rolling onto a course for rendezvous with the International Space Station. traveling 400 miles per hour. to 12,000 feet. This is a view from a camera mounted on Discovery's external fuel tank. Three engines on Discovery are now throttling down to two-thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. One minute since launch, Discovery speed now 900 miles per hour. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. All systems remain go for Discovery. Altitude now nine miles, six miles northeast of the launch pad. One and a half minutes since launch, Discovery's already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant. It weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. Speed now 2,000 miles per hour, altitude 18 miles, 14 miles northeast of the Kennedy Space Center. Standing by now for burnout and jettison of the twin solid rockets. Booster officer confirms clean separation of the solid rocket boosters. Discovery now on its three main engines, second stage. Speed now 3,030 miles per hour, altitude 33 miles. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. Minus 10, 9, 8, 
Seven, six, five, three main engines up and burning. Two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, opening a new chapter in the completion of the International Space Station for the collaboration of nations in space. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Houston is now controlling. Roll maneuver is underway. Atlantis is heading into a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 137 by 36 statute mile orbit. Atlantis already two miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 2.8 statute miles. Engines now at 72% beginning to throttle back up as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis Houston, go at throttle up. Copy, go at throttle up. All three liquid fueled engines are back at full throttle. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters and external tank weighed about four and a half million pounds. It now has burned half of that weight in propellant. Solid, solid rocket boosters are burning 11,000 pounds of propellant every second. Coming up on uh, one minute, 45 seconds. Standing by for first stage uh, separation of the uh, solid rocket boosters. Atlantis is at an altitude of 129,000 feet, 24 miles in altitude, 25 miles downrange. All three engines are still performing as expected. SRB separation and staging confirmed. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, go for main engine start, main engine start, two, one, booster ignition, and liftoff of the space shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery, the space shuttle begins the journey back into orbit. Discovery completes its role. The shuttle now heads down wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. This view from a camera on the external tank's liquid oxygen feed line showing the bird's eye view of Discovery as it races towards space, a star-spangled start to Discovery's mission. Discovery's three liquid fuel main engines now throttle back to 67% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Discovery already three and a half miles in altitude, one and a half miles downrange, traveling almost 750 miles an hour. Everything looking good on the bird. 57 seconds into the flight, engines beginning to rev up. Standing by for the throttle up call from Capcom Steve Frick. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Steve Lindsay. And Discovery Houston, it's expected data hits. It'll clear shortly. Copy. Lindsay joined on the flight deck by pilot Mark Kelly, flight engineer Lisa Nowak, and mission specialist Mike Fossum. Mission specialists Piers Sellers, Stephanie Wilson, and Tomas Ryder of the European Space Agency down on the mid deck. Ryder headed for six months on the International Space Station. One minute, 47 seconds into the flight, 22 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange, traveling 2,600 miles an hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. 
Discovery's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to swivel, aiming the shuttle for its precise target in space for main engine cutoff. And we should have a good forward link now on S-Bend.